9 over 16 divided by 4 over 9. So this is a division problem. So whenever you have a division problem, the first thing you want to do is rewrite it as a multiplication problem. Division is the same thing as multiplication by the reciprocal. So you write down your first fraction, 9 over 16. You change your division to a times, and then you flip it. When you flip this fraction, you're basically writing down the reciprocal. So boom. 9 fourths is the reciprocal of 4 ninths. So again, whenever you divide, you change the division to multiplication, and then you flip your fraction. Okay, now we're going to see if anything cancels. I'm not sure if anything will. So let's look at the 16 and the 9. Looks like I don't think anything can go into both. I mean, 3 goes into 9, but it doesn't go into 16. 2 goes into 16, but it doesn't go into 9. So I think we're out of luck. Likewise, if we look at the 4 and the 9, no cancellation there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and multiply. 9 times 9 is 81. Just multiply straight across. 16 times 4 is 64. Wow, a much harder problem. So we have 81 over 64. And that really can't be reduced. Now, this is an improper fraction. So what you can do uh, is write it as a mixed number. 64 goes into 81 one time. And what's left over? Let's see. 81 minus 64, right? Because 1 times 64 is 64. So it goes in once. And then to find out what's left over, you just subtract them. So 1 minus 4, that won't work. So you borrow 1 or borrow 10. You add 10 to that, it makes it 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. So you're left with 17. So it's 17 over 64. Do you have to write it like this? I guess it depends what you're doing this for. I like leaving it like this because it's easier. But depending on what you're doing, you may be asked to write it this way. I hope this video has been helpful.